Pete and Tom, crankathletes.com, still rhymes. We're here to talk about tire flips. We had a question in says, hey, I saw you guys flipping tires out there, uh, outside of your gym, I wanna do that. With that said, we thought about um, what are the actual benefits of doing so, um, how to properly do it, make sure you're doing it in a safe manner, and making sure this actually applies to why you're training. There are many uh, benefits of flipping the tire. One is to train the triple extension. Uh, most sports, trying to really get a explosive hip movement and a hip extension is key of um, your sport. So one way to train that is doing the tire flip. And another benefit of doing it is explosive strength. A lot of sports, football, wrestling, you do a fast moving uh, movement and the best way to train it is using the tire. All right guys, what we also want to do is we see a lot of people train this way. We go to other gyms or sometimes just walk around or run around towns and uh, we see the improper way people do it. And that is pretty much lifting the tire up and Tom's gonna talk about that. That's one of the worst things you probably do. Definitely tearing a bicep, really damaging yourself. Hurting, we your back. hurting your back. Just making sure that you guys are doing it in a safe, effective way, especially if you have one on one or are training on your own. All right, for the, so the first step you want to do to set up on a tire flip is hand placement and feet placement. You don't want to think about picking the tire up, you want to think about driving through like a football sled. So you want your hands outside your legs. So, you want to put your hands, try and use your hands as hooks. You just want to hook them on, drive your shoulders into the tire, dig your chin into the top of the tire. Push your feet back, and remember you're driving into the tire, not driving, you're not picking it up. So we're driving into the tire. Drive into it, use your legs, and pop up. So, so just like we're doing a clean or a snatch, when we're coming up, triple extending, and then catching, that's the same way you want to do with the tire. You want to drive through it, hip extension, carry over. Do it one more time. Hand placement, drive your shoulders into it, drive your chin into it, drive your feet back, drive up, and drive up into it. Uh, another way you can do it to flip the tire if you're not strong enough to do it in a one motion is to get it to your knee and then pop it up your body and then eventually push it over. So. The first step is the same exact thing. You're gonna drive into it, but you're gonna get it to your knee. So, drive up, let it rest in your knee. And then I think that guy Newton said something about an object in motion stays in motion, so you wanna keep popping, build it up, and then get it over. It's a lot tougher for you because you're not used to using that way. Yeah. Right? yeah. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that tip. Um, that's definitely uh, will help you guys out, especially if you're training on your own out there. If not, definitely message us, comment down below, but definitely subscribe to our channel. We're going to have tons more tips like we have been doing every week, tons of videos coming out, so get on it. Make sure you like, subscribe, get on top of it. We'll see you guys later. This is Pete, Coach Tom, crankathletes.com.